Okay, we are going to, and it's recording. It's actually working. Yay. All right, isn't that like the cutest picture of Sarah ever? <laughs> it like, just matches so well. <laughs> she doesn't look like that in real life. <laughs> yes, you do. I think you do. All right. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys can do me a favor and just mute yourselves, that yeah. would be awesome. That way we don't hear any background noise. No. <laughs> and the mute who I see is still. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, perfect, awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for getting on. Today we have a very special guest with us. We have one of our new One Star Diamond coach. Sarah, doesn't that sound good? New One of our new One Star Diamond coaches, um, Sarah Griffith. And I'm going to talk a little bit about her in a couple minutes. But she is going to be co-hosting our team call tonight, which is really exciting because um, she has not been able to host one of our calls yet because she is extremely busy herself. And finally, school is going to be done for her tomorrow, right? Yay! <laughs> so she's going to have more freedom, and I stole her away before anyone else had a chance. So um, she's going to be talking about believing in a dream and creating a team culture, because that is exactly what she has done with her own team. She has an amazing team culture, and they're all so much alike and just so fun and spunky and cute, and I love it. <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry, I get excited. All right. So we're going to start out with our shout outs because that's how I always start out our calls. Um, we have, this honestly is the best week we have ever had as a team. And it's really, really exciting because I know there's a lot of people struggling still. Um, but it's going really, really well. I can tell you guys are striving for some big goals. I know a lot of people are shooting for Success Club because of going to Nashville, and there's incentives going for that, along with our trip that we're having, the Diamond Retreat. Um, so everyone is definitely really motivated and reaching some really big goals. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our new rank advancements. And as I said, Sarah Griffith, she is our newest one star official today. Um, she has qualified for six weeks once you hit diamond and you have a new diamond on your team. So after diamond, you have one star, two star, three star, and those stars are just how many diamonds you have on your team. And once you hit that one star mark, you actually have to qualify for six weeks. So that coach on your team that is diamond has to maintain for six weeks in order for you to qualify for a lifetime star diamond coach. So she is official. Congratulations. And congratulations to Cheryl because Cheryl has been maintaining her diamond and she is just kicking butt over there. So great job. And then we have Kelly Dougherty, who is today one star qualifying. And Kelly has been in the business just a few months and she's kicking some major butt. <laughs> she's doing amazing. We actually just shouted her out not too long, a couple weeks ago for being diamond. And she had her newest coach, Kim Carr, who is next, who has reached diamond in our she did 28 days, so she has beaten our record in Forever Fit for reaching Diamond the fastest. So she is another rock star on our team that I'm so glad to have. Um, and then we have Misty Valentine, who is our one of our newest Diamonds again. Very good girl. And then we have Whitney Lloyd, who is one of our new Diamonds. We have Jessica Kemock who is Ruby, and a lot of people don't actually hit Ruby because it's very, very hard to get emeralds. Um, so once you have three or four active coaches on each side, that's when you usually have your emeralds. Um, but she has working coaches that are going for it, and they are rank advancing fast, which is really, really cool. So congratulations, Jessica. And then we have Jesse Valentine, who is Misty's husband, who is working the business and doing a very good job. And then we have Tanya Rill, who is our newest Emerald. Congratulations, guys. You guys are kicking butt. That was the biggest shout out for rank advancements we've ever had. 
And then we have our top producers, which is our PV. And if you guys don't know what that number is, that equals your your own volume from when you put in an order. So Shakeology is 90 PV. Um, that is your personal orders and your customer orders together. So your customer orders, personal orders is your PV. And TV is your team volume and that equals your downline. So that is your coaches and your coaches volume. All right, so the top producers um, who have over 500, we have Alicia Smith at the very top. She has 628. And second, we have Michael Gowan, who is at 594. And then we have Beth Bird, who is at 564. And then we have tons of coaches who are over 300. We have Megan Blinka, which your name is spelled wrong, I'm very sorry, is at 481. We have Lauren Penrose at 479. We have Aaron Trail at 450. Nicole Dahl at 401. Jackie Snell at 397. Christy Urich at 360. Melissa Brown at 337. Sam Brosnick at 336. Kellen McCullough at 3.30, Lindsay Callis at 3.17, Sarah Griffith at 3.15, Allison Isbert at 3.13, Andrea Youngblood at 300, Malia Maria Brensler, her old name is on there, um, I'm using your new one because I can say it so much better, is at 300, and then Melissa Bueller is at 300. Huge congratulations. This is the highest volume we've had on the team. All right, and then we have a ton of coaches that are at Success Club already, and it's only the 11th today, right? Yeah, today is the 11th, so I mean, there's tons of time um, for you guys to make it happen, but I want to give a huge shout out to Kelly Dockerty, who is amazing at her success club. She is at 20 already. We have Kim Carr, again, those two little rock stars with the Ks are at the top. Um, Kim Carr is at success club 12. We have Sarah Griffith at 12, Caitlin Hawley at 10, Lauren Penrose at eight, Regan Long at eight, Ashley Ch Chap, is it Chapin or Chaplin? at eight, sorry, Ashley Joe, Jessica Brennan at eight, Cheryl Isola at eight, Aaron Trail at seven, Marky Wolf at six, Michael Gowan at six, Megan Blinka at six, Whitney Lloyd at six, Lauren Neff at six, Beth Bird at five, Joe Gamble at five, and Jackie Snell at five. Way to go, guys. There's tons of you guys who are already on the leaderboard. That means you have the skin in the game right now. There is tons of time. Like I said, you know, people can go from success club zero to success club five in a day if they wanted to. It's all about putting yourself out there, doing those three vital behaviors and just making it happen and not giving up until it's done. One thing that we do as working coaches, if you are trying to grow a successful business is doing those three vital behaviors every day and making success club five or 10, depending on how fast you want to grow non-negotiable. And you will hear me say it all the time. I'll probably say it every week on our calls because that's what we do to grow. Um, we don't have any secret sauce. It's simply doing the three vital behaviors. So doing your personal development. And if you guys are in a coach basics or have been in a coach basics and are past that, hopefully you guys have at least read the compound effect by Darren Hardy. If you have not yet and you're new to this business, um, please make sure you do order that because it is going to be used. Um, you will be reading it in coach basics and it is a great start to your journey. And then we have the inviting. Um, make sure that you guys are inviting three to five people every single day, whether they're personal messages, face-to-face, -face, just talking to people who you work with, whatever it may be, as long as you're doing those invites and sharing your story, <clears throat> um, you're gonna let people know what you're doing and eventually they're going to be interested and join you, whether it's in a challenge group or with the coaching opportunity. All right, and just a little extra with Success Club, guys. Um, if you don't know what Success Club is, whenever I say shooting for Success Club 5 and you're new to this business with Beachbody, Success Club 5 is a recognition that, that Beachbody has given us that just shows that we're growing a successful business and then we're changing lives. Um, 
So if you are wondering how you can earn Success Club points, for every challenge pack, you get two points. So the challenge pack includes a fitness program of their choice, along with Shakeology and Home Direct. And if, you, if someone's just wanting Shakeology and Home Direct, that equals one point. Now, you can only get max two points per person. So if someone orders a challenge pack, you will not get two points from them every single month. You only get two and that's it. You have to move on to someone else and change another life. All right, and that's what's fun about this, is you're constantly being pushed in a good way to help other people. All right, so if someone orders just a fitness program, you do not get any points for that. If someone orders just a Shakeology times one, you do not get any points for that. And the reason I stress for people, if they're only gonna order at one time, they're not sure if they're gonna want to use it every month. Instead of them spending $145 on the one-time Shakeology order, I always recommend, it's still gonna benefit you if you get it in Home Direct because it's gonna save you $13 in shipping. And if you do not want it literally the next day, you can just send an email saying that you do not want it and you want to cancel your Shakeology order. There's no fee or penalty. That's exactly what I say to people. I've never had a problem with it. I've never had anyone shut me down um, when I say it like that. You guys can just make sure that you're muted. That would be awesome. Okay, cool. Now, I just want to go, go over some events that we have coming up. Um, most of you have heard about our upcoming summit, which is our biggest training of the year that Beachbody throws us. Um, every year, it's somewhere different, and this year, they have picked Nashville, Tennessee, which I have never been there, so I'm extremely excited. Um, there is going, okay, so last year, we had 10,000 people there. And this year is at 25,000 coaches, which is going to be huge and ridiculous. I don't even know how it's going to work, um, but they have everything organized. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, I, sorry if my son comes in. We knew that was going to happen. Go see daddy. No, Hi, no. I'm, I'm on a call. Go, 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 honey. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. This happens often. Um, all right, so if you guys have not gotten into the group for the Nashville that I put on Facebook so we can all chat back and forth, please make sure that you message me and I will add you into the group so you can be included in everything. Um, I just want to make everyone aware of what I'm doing because I would love for you guys to join me. Now, there is nothing saying you have to follow me or anything like that. If you have your own track that you want to get into that you really want to hear a certain speakers or you want to do a certain workout, that is perfectly fine. I have no problem with it, but I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing because it would be fun if we were all together and we did it as a team. If not, again, no problem, no pressure, but I am going to be doing Silver Track Hall B. If you guys have an idea and looked over the FAQs, what that is, that is what I'm going to be doing. I would like to hear from other top coaches. There's a couple top 10 coaches speaking and they're not from a part of our team. So I'm excited to learn different styles of teaching and coaching. That way we can, you know, give a little something different to our team. And then the workouts, I'm going to be doing Sagi Body Beast Thursday at 2 p.m. and then Autumn on Friday at 6 a.m. And the reason I'm doing 6 a.m. is because we are going to be starting early and I want to make sure I have time to get ready afterwards and not go like a sweaty mess like I did for leadership. So <laughs> that is my reasoning behind doing it at 6 a.m. All right. And then I just want to go over a little bit more with success club. So we have success club starters and in your first month of hitting success club, if you hit success club five, a lot of you guys have already this month and you will be earning a free call with Carl Deichler, who, who is our CEO of the company. It's a really awesome opportunity that you guys get. I know Kim Carr has got the call and so has Erica Ellis. So congratulations to you two. I know of you two in particular. I'm sure there's a few other ones that have got that. 
Now, what's really awesome is you guys are actually already on your way to getting your free ticket to Summit for next year. And it's all together, what, $300, um, usually full price. So if you hit Success Club 5, your first three consecutive months, you will earn your free ticket to Summit for 2016. So if you signed up in June, if you, if you get Success Club 5 June, July, and August, you will earn your free ticket. If you sign up in June and you also, if you don't get it in June, because you're already halfway through the month, but you get it the three months after, you'll still earn your ticket. So it counts for that month after and then the three consecutive after that. So make sure that if you guys hit Success Club 5 that you continue pushing for a goal for that because you're not only, you know, taking charge of your business and growing it, but you're earning that free ticket to a huge event that is literally going to change your life. And if you guys have not signed up yet, okay, go please. If you have not signed up yet and you're thinking about going this year, I know it's a quick notice. Um, please make sure that you guys do what it takes to get there because it seriously is life changing. It will change your entire business. And I guarantee you when you come back after showing all your pictures that people will be going after you and want more of what you're doing. Sorry guys. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we have a success club trip. If, if you are hitting success club every month, Beachbody provides those coaches who are hitting success club an amazing opportunity to go hang out on a vacation. You can take your family, you can go by yourself, you can do it however you would like to do. But next year for 2016, we are going on a cruise um, on the Oasis, which is the biggest ship, and we are going to Jamaica and Haiti. So if you guys have not got yourself on the waiting list because it is currently sold out, too many people got on it, um, but they do have a waiting list. So there is still a chance that you can make it on, but you literally want to jump on now. Um, they will eventually go through that list. And when people get called off of the waiting list, they only have a certain amount of time to put their deposit down. And that's when people start to back away because if they get called, they might not have that money at the time or they decide they don't wanna go anymore. So make sure you get on that list so you have an opportunity to at least get your spot. <clears throat> and then last but not least, we have our new Forever Fit Diamond Retreat that is going to be August 14th to the 16th. It is in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. It's going to be a really nice, just relaxed hangout area where we're going to spend the weekend. And um, we are going to have a photographer and we're going to get a little, pon is it a pontoon boat? Did I say pontoon boat? Yeah. Pontoon boat. We're going to hang out. It's going to be fun. I want to water ski. I'm not sure if anyone else wants to, but I'm going to. Um, and we are going to have a little bit of training, but not a lot because I'd rather just hang out with you guys and get to know you. So if you hit Success Club 10, May, June, and July, you will be getting to go for free. I will be taking care of your spot. If you are hitting Success Club in May, June, and July, you will just have to pay a $50 fee for your spot. And if you miss Success Club in any of the months and you are diamond, you still get to go, but you will have to put your spot down, which is $100, which still isn't bad for the place that we have. It's really, really nice. Like I said, it's just a relaxed area. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, you have to be diamond by August 1st is what I said. Um, so you guys still have time. You could be a brand new coach and sign up today and you can be a Kim Carr and go diamond in 28 days and make it happen. So it's all up to you. It's all up to how much you want to grow, how much you want to go to the retreat. Um, but the opportunity is definitely there for you. All right, and then we have the training. So we have a Coach Basics that just started on June 1st. Um, we've had a few new coaches who signed up right after that and who really want to get started on working the business. So I am starting another Coach Basics on June 15th. If anybody has any coaches who would like to join, please let me know. We can add them in for sure. Um, and we will get them going because the sooner we get those coaches started right, the better off they're going to be and the sooner they're going to see the success. <clears throat> if they are not in a coach basics yet or you haven't done this yet for your new coaches, 
please make sure you're getting them started right. This is the most important thing for them and their business. And also for you as a leader, make sure when they sign up, you always give every single coach discount or working a coach welcome email. Um, that is in the file section in Forever Fit. It's under um, Forever Fit Welcome Email 2015. And then also we have a new coach call recording that I did just um, two weeks ago. And that's just helping them get started on what first things to do for their business before they, you know, have that coach training and start helping people um, join them in a challenge group or as with a coaching opportunity. And then the 22nd, which is in two weeks from now on a Monday, we are going to be having another five day sneak peek into coaching. And our last one went really, really, really well. So hopefully we can start inviting people to that. People who are interested in the coaching opportunity, they don't want to sign up because they want more information. This is just a perfect way for them to get in a free group, um, five days long, no pressure or anything. All they have to do is look at the post daily and listen to a business opportunity call that we will do on that Wednesday. All right, and then if you guys haven't seen, there's a ton of people doing the three-day refresh and a ton of people getting amazing results with it. Um, this month, for the entire month of June, every Monday we are starting a new three-day refresh. And the Dream Team, which is the number one team in the company that we are a part of, actually started that. So I just hosted the first week of it, and now there's new other coaches that are hosting it from the Dream Team. So it doesn't matter when you bring your customers or yourself into it. Um, make sure you realize this is for us coaches as well. If you yourself want to get into it or you have other coaches in your downline who want to do it, they just need that extra accountability, please make sure you add them into this group. And if you don't know where the group is, let me know and I will make sure that you get into it. But there are prizes that are going off for the best results. Um, Prizes on the 14th and then on July 5th. So make sure that you are talking this up. It's a great way for people to get that jump start to their weight loss and their nutrition. Um, if they just need to lose a little water weight, if they are trying to lose those last five pounds that they've been struggling with, if they're at a plateau and they can't lose it, um, this is a perfect way for them to get started. So I did it and I lost five pounds and I'm pretty happy with that because I'm still losing and it's been a week and I haven't gone up since then. So it just shows you that it's, it's not one of those quick fixes. This is a really good way to help you with your nutrition and get you get your body into wanting more of those healthy foods. And the recipes are awesome too. So please make sure that you're sharing this. It's a great volume drive, especially if you're looking for that. Um, I know with my personally sponsored coaches, I do have a little volume drive for them right now for this month that whoever has the highest PV will get my extra ticket to my star diamond party, not my diamond party. It's ours for Knit summit. Um, they will get the extra ticket to the star diamond party. So it'll be a lot of fun, but a lot of people focus so much on signing up discount coaches that sometimes we forget the volume. Um, so this is just a great way to do that. All right, now to get into it, Sarah, I am going to let you talk, but first I wanna introduce Sarah. Um, Sarah is very special to me. <laughs> I knew Sarah before um, coaching because we actually worked together in college. Me, her, and Megan all worked at Ruby Tuesdays when we were in college working at Indiana, or whenever we were in school at Indiana University. And she was awesome. She ended up graduating. She's a teacher. She is also a student because she is getting her master's so she can be a principal. I almost forgot that. And she's also a mother and a wife. So she has a very busy schedule. Again, she has a full-time job. So, you know, she doesn't have a ton of time to dedicate like she would be a stay-at-home mom. Um, but she's making it happen, and she has done a pretty darn good job of doing that. Um, and now that she is off for the summer, she is ready to kick it up a couple notches and make it happen because she has some huge goals. And, you know, she dreams really big, and I think that's an awesome thing that she's going to be talking about this tonight because this is what she's passionate about. She's really good at it. Um, 
it doesn't matter what obstacle will get in her way. She will make sure that she gets those goals accomplished no matter what. Her goals are non-negotiable. Um, her dreams will become reality very, very soon. All right. So, Sarah, I am going to stop sharing. And I'm going to let you go ahead and take it away if that's all right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put it in present mode. How about now? Good? Not yet. It says loading. Okay. S still loading? Yeah. The reason why I don't put it in present mode because it usually doesn't work. All right. I don't know why. I will just do it this way. Okay. All right. So thank you for that intro. Um, it's nice to be on the call tonight. I usually host my calls on Sundays at seven. And um, a few weeks ago, I made a deal with Deidre and I said, I want you to speak on my call and I'll speak on yours. So this is a little bit of bartering this evening, um, but I'm really excited to be on the call and to share um, something that I'm really passionate about with you. And that's creating a, a really great team culture. Um, and I'll share with you tonight some of my tips. Uh, Deidre sort of already introduced me and she kind of she kind of alluded to what I was going to say um, but I want you to realize that being a coach is a choice and being busy is not an excuse if you want to be a coach and you want to be a top coach then do it um, I, I don't have I don't have time for excuses because I am really busy like she said I'm a wife I'm a mom I'm a friend I'm a business teacher I teach six different preps in one day which if you don't know anything about teaching um, that means six times a day I teach six different subjects um, it's all business subjects but my plate at school is really full um, I'm finishing my master's degree to be a principal, um, so I'm busy, so I get it. And a lot of the coaches that I attract to my team are just as busy as I am. So on my team, I don't really like to hear excuses that I'm really busy because I'm really busy too, but I'm doing it anyways. So I think if you are a busy person, you actually, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to be home and have more time, but you're actually, you can be a solid rock star too. It's just, you've got to have a better focus than everybody. So it's important to, if you're busy, carve out your power hours and make it happen. Otherwise it's, it's really, it is hard to do. Now, um, I say, I always sort of talk about this, how you can have your cake and eat it too. Um, I love my job. I love teaching. You know, it's, it's, it was my dream job and now I do this and it's my dream job too. And it's okay to have more than one passion and you can make it work. Um, you know, I, I stay up really late. I'll be honest with you. I stay up usually from, I work my business from eight o'clock until 11 or 12 o'clock every night. I try to take one day a week off, but it's not negotiable. I want this, and I know that this dream doesn't happen overnight. So um, for me, it's it's something that I just, I, I do it because I love it. Um, the one thing that I want you to realize is that you have to believe in this dream. So you signed up to be a coach. Maybe it's just to get your Shakeology covered, or maybe you think you're the next top coach. But if you think you are, you have to own that, and you have to believe that. I am not a top coach, but I act like one because I will be one. Um, I tell Melanie when I see her, I always say, I'm going to be the next you. I want to be the next number one coach. Um, my husband, before I got on this call, he said, congratulations, I'm finally being one star. And I said, yeah, yeah, that's good. I said, but we got 14 more to go. And he laughed and he's like, that a girl. Because I want, I want big. Okay, so you have to dream big and it has to start with you. I'm here to tell you that everyone is going to think you're crazy. They are. When you say, I'm a beach body coach and you start posting your workouts, they're going to be like, mm -hmm. yeah, she's crazy. And that's okay because not everyone has to be all right with it at first. You just have to own it. If you can own it, everything else is okay. You need to have courage. It takes a special person to be able to live their life on social media. The good, the bad, the ugly. I hold nothing back. My husband and I have been dealing with infertility for the last year, and I made it public. Um, I, I don't have any secrets, and because of that, I feel like my followers have more of a buy-in, and they can relate better to me. So whatever your your mess is, turn it into, like Katie Erste says, your message, and, and be real, and, and people will follow you because of it. Um, but you need to have courage to put your life out there and you need to from day one say that I'm doing this because I can make somebody's life better and I'm going to post this because somebody needs this today. 
Um, in addition to that, having courage, you have to have a why that makes it worth it. They tell you when you become a new coach that you can't, you can't, your why can't be that you want to help people. That can be one of your whys, but that's not a strong enough why. Because I'm telling you, there's going to be nights when you want to quit. There's going to be nights and months where it's hard and you have to still show up. Um, you need to expect to fail and you need to expect that it won't come easy, okay? But Michael Gowan, he's one of Deidre's coaches, and I remember my first few months of coaching, he kept saying, be here in a year, be here in a year. And I've read a lot of books about multi-level marketing, and you do, you need to be here in a year. The first year in this business is rocky, but if you can stand through the storm for the first year, the second year is huge. And I'm here, I'm proof of that. Year one is hard, it's a building year, but you have to know what's to come, and that will get you through. Um, my why is my son, but it's also my husband, and my why is a combination. My husband travels two hours every day for work. He still works in Indiana, PA, where we're from, and it has left me raising my son almost by myself. He gets home from work at 7 every night, and Carter goes to bed at 7.30. It's a lot on my shoulders to be a full-time teacher, to be taking classes, and to be a mom and try to do all of this. I love my job, but we are in state college solely for my job. We moved here because this is where I was hired. We build a house here, we love it here, but I love my husband and I don't want to see him driving four hours a day. So if someday down the road I don't have to live here, we won't. So um, that's, that's hard for me to say, but that has become my why. It really has. Um, so anyways, there's only one certainty in business, and you can't succeed if you quit. So if you, if you sign up and the people around you are being more successful than you faster, um, that, that happened for me. And, and that's, some people would think that's really hard, but it's actually more of a driver for me. And I realize that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And when I get there, it will feel amazing. You know, today I was a one star. I remember you know, a year ago, and that was such a big deal to me. I just wanted that so bad. I just want to be diamond. Who doesn't want to be a sparkly diamond? And then it happened, and, and it feels really good. So don't be discouraged when people around you are having success faster. Your time it is going to come, but you have to put in the hard work. They're having that success because they're working. I hate to say this, but it's because they're working harder than you sometimes. So you have to know that, and you have to own it. Um, so anyways, you got to believe in that dream. Um, you're going to have haters. I don't have a lot, actually. I might, but they don't tell me they're a hater. Um, but you're going to have them. And there's a reason why. Because you are not normal. You're, you're a freak. You're sharing your world on social media. You're sharing your pictures of your body, what you're eating, your kids. You're sharing your whole mess. And, and they don't like it. And you know why? Because you are becoming someone they're not. You're more confident than them. You're a hell of a lot happier than them, and you're living a better life than they are. And it's easier for them to say, that damn Sarah Griffith and her friggin' workout, she's so annoying. You know why they'll say that? Because they're jealous, okay? You are more brave than they are, okay? And they're resenting you because they're afraid. They don't like their life. They look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. So if you have haters, just smile. And remember, they don't sign your paycheck. You do. So let them hate. And you're going to, and for every one message that hurts your feelings, you will get 15 more that said, you are the reason why I worked out today. Or I don't know how you do it, but you are inspiring to me. You're going to get those messages and they make it worth it. So um, if you have haters, get some thicker skin. You can't be in this business and care what other people think about you. It's got to be your show. So if you got haters, who cares? We all have them. Um, one thing that I want you to realize is you have to start somewhere. So I started, um, I think I started my team page. I should say that I started coaching in March last year. Um, I started my team page probably last spring and it was me and my coach, Lindsay Callis and maybe two other coaches. I called it Sarah's personally sponsored coach. It was a private group on Facebook, you know, I sort of pulled out of Forever Fit. Not that I pulled out of it, but I said, okay, this has got to be my business, so I need my own team page. 
So I made one and that's what I called it. And then around September, we really started to grow and we took off and they were like, uh, we need a name. I'm like, uh, okay. So we came up with a name together. Um, everybody sort of agreed on it. And I changed the Facebook page to Team Fit and Fabulous. So that's our name. It's totally like me. Like, I'm like, I'm so girly. I love fabulous things. So it really fits. Um, we have our weekly calls on Sundays at 7 o'clock. And I'm telling you that I, I – never cancel them unless I absolutely have to. You have to create that routine with your team. So my team knows at seven o'clock they have somewhere to be. And they know that if they aren't on the call, they have to watch it because they're missing important information. Um, I, as a teacher, I have learned to despise meetings with no purpose. My time is way too valuable. So I know that when I host a call for my team, it needs to be respectful of time. I, I talk from 7 to 7.30 and I do not go over because their time is important. Um, I make sure it has a purpose. So I recognize success right away. Um, from there, I talk about any important announcements and then I get into the meat of the call. I want you guys to realize that the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. If you want your coaches to hit success club, then damn it, you have to hit success club. It's non-negotiable. If you want them to sign coaches, you have to sign coaches. So you cannot expect much if you're not doing much. So look at yourself first and say, where am I? You know, am I at success club two? Because that's where your coaches are going to be. If you're at Success Club 30, your coaches want to follow you, okay? I'll never forget how exciting it was when I, I first started coaching. I was like, oh, my God, I beat Deidre. I have more points than her. Like, it was like, damn. But it was cool because I wanted to be where she was. You know, I wanted to be on that leaderboard. So put yourself on the leaderboard so your coaches can chase you to the top. Um, so the next thing that I want to say is to show up even if no one else does. Don't quit. This is worth your time. Still host your calls. I don't care if it's you and one other person, you have that call because you're weeding out those who don't want it bad enough. I remember, you know, I, my calls are Sundays at seven. So my husband has to help put Carter to bed on Sundays. And I remember some nights praying and being like, oh my God, I hope someone gets on so that he doesn't think I'm wasting our family's time. And, and, you know, some weeks it was me and me and one person, but now it's, it's big. Sundays are fun. I look forward to my calls. I love my team. I really do. They know that. Um, so another thing I want you to, to realize is that it's okay if everyone doesn't have the same goals as you. I want to be a top coach and I will be, I will be very successful. And my coaches know that's my belief, but I'm not going to make them be a top coach if they don't want to be. If they want to be, they know I'm going to show them exactly the way. But if they don't, that's okay too. My job is not to make them feel like what their goals for the, their business are, are inferior. My job is to make them successful to the level they want to be. I do not, I do not chase people and I do not pressure people. If you want it, it's here. There are no secrets in this business. You can't keep secrets from your coaches. You want to be successful, teach them every single thing you know, and be transparent. What you do, they should do. Um, when, I make biz when I was making business cards, I told them, I said, we've got one week. Everybody make your business cards, and we all did it. Um, buying our website, making YouTube videos, whatever it is, you know, we do it together as a team, and I think that's really helpful, as well as, you know, attending events together. You want to duplicate your success. Um, you need to teach them how to fly as fast as you can. Teach them to run their own challenge groups. Teach them to run their own coach basics. Teach them to have their own team page. You want that because that's a duplication of your success. That's what you need to make happen. You don't want to hold your coach's hands for the next three years. You want them to do their own thing. Deidre and I, honestly, we very rarely talk. We talk mm, something that we're getting better, but she knows I'm busy and I'll call her when I need her. She knows that. Um, sometimes she'll say, hey, we need to have a call, which I think is really helpful, but Deidre has taught me how to fly on my own. You know, I go to her when I need it, but she taught me what to do to be successful. I wouldn't be able to do any of this if she hadn't have taught me it. Um, you need to pay attention to the little things. What you reward gets repeated. 
Um, so I do not let a week go by where I don't shout out my coaches on their success called points. Even if it's two or four or what it is, I acknowledge it because if you acknowledge it, they, they want, you know, they want, look at this picture right here. So Cheryl, 19. If I were sitting at two, I wouldn't be Cheryl. I want 19. It's a motivator. I also recognize rank advancements, which I think all of you do. Um, and I do shout outs just little things, you know, somebody might have done an awesome job on their social media that day. I might write it in our team page, like, hey, everybody go to Vanessa's page. She really rocked that post. Look at it. Um, also, like little things, like that was when one of my coaches, Kellen, got success starters. Acknowledge it because it's a big deal to them and, and it makes them want to be more successful. You also need to learn what makes your coaches tick. Do they want to leave their job? Do they, like, they want money. Do they just want recognition? You need to know that and you need to lead with that. Okay, so figure that out. Spend time with them. Figure out what makes them tick. Um, you need to give coaches your love. I love my girls. I literally, like, I can't wait to talk to them all the time. They're my favorite people to be around. Um, but I will tell you that being a leader is time consuming and it really does require sacrifice. My first week or two of every month is devoted to me and getting myself to success club. And then I spend the rest of the month helping them. I still help them at the beginning of the month, but I have to focus on me. Okay. And then it's all about them. So it is a sacrifice. I don't watch TV. I stay up late. I get up early. My husband helps out so that I can call these women or call them on my way to school or whatever, but it's time consuming. You also have to have hard conversations. Some weeks you need to call. If you see your coaches slacking, you need to call them and you need to say, what's wrong? Why are you not posting? Why are you not doing the three vital behaviors? Because you told me you wanted to be successful. And if you want to be successful, here's what you have to do. So you're not doing it. So do you not want to be successful? And, and sometimes that's hard to say to somebody like, I see you didn't post on social media all week because some people take it offensively, but you have to be able to say, I'm here to help you and you're not doing what you need and you said you wanted success. So you have to have those hard conversations. Um, it's not always fun, but you're the leader. You signed up for this, so you've got to do it. Um, I like to make mini videos for my group and put them in our team page. So like midweek, I'll make a little YouTube video and just Tell them, here's where I am. It's good for them to see how many invites you sent or how, what you're struggling with and, or what you're, what, what's working. So sending them love throughout the week, not just a team call, is awesome. Um, calling them, you know, I'm on a rotation with my coaches. I have half the team I call one week. It flips. I talk to the other half the next week, and then we just rotate back and forth. I cannot physically talk to all of them in one week. There's too many, um, but I can do it in – you know, every other week. And I also, um, I talk to them online a lot. So, uh, that's my system. As far as talking to them, I send them cards, I send them notes, send them presents, whatever it is. Um, I try to make them feel appreciated, whether it's that they rank advanced or whether it's that they had their transformations been awesome or that they really helped me with something. I recognize it. I like to buy, I like to buy presents. I like to, um, I really, I love writing handwritten notes. Those things matter. So you should do that too. Um, special treats. I'm going to sort of talk about that in a second. So, um, team building is, is not easy, but when you can do it, it, it will move mountains for your team. Um, having meetups. So if you have any coaches that are around you, whether it's that you go to Starbucks, whether you go out for drinks, whatever, meet up, get to know each other, you'll become more powerful. Um, Deidre had a photo shoot for us in the fall for Forever Fit. And I learned that that was one of the best things you can do for your business because you look like a top coach when you get pictures like this. You look the part, it sets you apart from the other people who are on social media being beach body coaches. And, and when I do it, I talk about like my beach body photo shoot. Shit, people think that beach body is like taking photos of me. No, I'm just getting pictures with a photographer. But Okay, you just, those kind of things make you different than everybody else. So anyways, we had our first, my team photo shoot um, a few weeks back and the, the pictures were gorgeous. Everybody looked stunning, but we had so much fun. I think the photographer was ready to kill us. We were there from nine to 
four. Um, and all we did was talk about challenge facts and beef fighting and coaching and does this shirt look good on me? We were like a hot mess, but we had a blast. We never laughed so hard. Um, and we just, it was, it was fun because I stepped back and all I could see in that room were women who got it and women who believe what I believe and who love what I love. And when you can surround yourself with people who have that kind of passion, you've made yourself a pretty beautiful life. So um, photo shoots are great. Uh, I took them, we took a road trip. So most of my coaches are here in State College. So um, we took a road trip to Pittsburgh for Super Saturday. Yes, there are other Super Saturdays around, but why would you go to those when you could go to the one with all the top coaches? So we made the road trip, we had a blast. Um, after Super Saturday, we decided we needed to go to Lululemon and go shopping, and that was huge for us. I mean, that was how we got to know each other, and we just, we had a total blast. Um, so we had team shirts made also for ourselves. It, you know, everyone likes a shirt, especially if it has your team name on it. Um, and we also are having next, well, Thursday, June 25th, we're having our first team night here at my house. And some of my girls are on the call, so I'm not telling you what, what all we're doing, but I have tons of surprises planned for them. It's going to be a fabulous night, and it's just really great for your team, for team building. So if you can get together, that's awesome. Um, I want you to realize that not everyone is right for your culture. And I may come across as a bitch when I say that, but I'm serious. Not everyone is your cup of tea. I don't, I have a different personality type and I have no room for negative Nancy's or people who have BS excuses. That's not, it doesn't work for me. So they won't work on my team, but it, I'm serious. It won't work. Um, I, you know, I met a woman who was really kind of interested in coaching, but she was the most negative person. And I just, for me, it was like, this wouldn't work for me. So you don't want everybody and their brother and their mother on your team. You want people like you who believe what you believe. Um, you will attract those with similar personalities and similar careers. You know, Alyssa Show Shoemaker, Showmaker, she, um, she said most of her team is nurses because she's a nurse, whereas a lot of my team is teachers. Um, so you kind of attract what you are. Um, I want to tell you a very quick story. I know, you know, we don't have a lot of time, but I want you to fight for the ones you want bad enough. Fight for a coach you want bad enough. So when you think about people who you think would make a really good coach, you need to invite them and you need to pursue them hard. Um, the reason why there's a picture of Christy on this slide, Christy, I think she's on the call too. Um, yeah, she is. Okay, so Christy saw my pictures from Super Saturday. She saw those pictures. Um, she messaged me that night while I was at Super Saturday, literally 11 o'clock at night. She was like, I really think I want to do this beach body thing. You know, we talked about challenge packs, whatever. I went back and forth with Christy for a good two or three weeks. Um, she was saying she was in, she was in, she wasn't in. And then um, she was going to sign up as a coach, and I was stoked. And the reason I was stoked was because Christy had um, a background in, you know, nutrition and I think it's kinesiology, but she was awesome for this. But she also worked at the YMCA in Center County, and that was a big deal to me. So I was stoked. And then I got an email that said, you know, one of the girls at the Y is a beach body coach. And I think I'm going to go with her because I work with her. And I don't like to step on toes. So I just was like, damn, I was mad. But I, I didn't want to come off that way. So I just told her, you know, good luck. But then it, I was sort of like, I had this gut feeling and I was like, don't let her go. She's a good find. So I wrote her a message and I said, listen, I said, I'm not trying to steer you in one direction or not, but I want you to realize it matters who you sign with. It matters who your team is, who your upline is, who your training is coming from. That stuff matters. I said, ask the person who you're signing with, what's their rank? How long have they been coaching? What are their goals? And she wrote me back and she was like, okay, thanks. I'll, I'll do that. And about an hour later, I got a message that said, could you answer those questions about you? Can you tell me about you and your team? And I was like, yes. So I did. And I told her about, you know, the dream team and, and this opportunity and, and my goals. And we went back and forth till midnight that night. I stay up late. Um, but I, I won. I got Christy. I fought for her. And I'm so glad I did. Christy's business is growing like crazy. She's going to be a diamond in no time. So if you know someone that you want to be one of your coaches, don't let them go. Yes, don't steal coaches. You know, I probably was playing dirty that night. But sometimes you've got to go for it if you want somebody bad enough. 
Um, you want working coaches. My coaches say that all the damn time. I want a working coach. I want working coaches. How do I get working coaches? There's no secret sauce. You have to run solid challenge groups. That's where it starts. Make your challengers into coaches. Um, and, and that will be your most successful coaches usually. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. So if you are, you know, some people are diamond and they don't have working coaches. It's okay. It will happen. And how it will happen is not only will your challenge groups make them successful, but glamorize the opportunity. I'm, you know, when I went to Cancun, you were seeing countdown to Cancun. You were seeing, um, you know, pictures of me packing because that was a successful trip in May. Um, when I went to Super Saturday with Carl Zeichler and, and Autumn and Melanie and everybody, and we got to dress up and wear white. That's the night I got Christy. Um, but I glamorized that because people see that. They see pictures like that, and they're like, hmm, this kind of looks like fun. Um, so, you know, glamorize your opportunity and fake it until you become it. Um, so today I became a one-star diamond coach and we know what that is, but nobody else does. Nobody cares. Really nobody cares. Okay. So they don't, it doesn't, to them, if you could be an Emerald coach or a 14-star diamond coach, no one really gets it unless you work in the organization. But you can fake it until you become it. You can act like a top coach. You can post like a top coach. And you can believe you are, and then you will become one. That's all it takes. Um, you need to be in love with your blessing, which your blessing is your business. This was You were called to do this for a reason. So you need to be in love with that opportunity. If you stop loving it, stop doing it. You have to love it because it is a lot of work. Um, you need to share your coaching opportunity with the world. The rest will follow. Um, that was something that I was slow to do. I didn't like to post about coaching or you know the, the business opportunity. I just posted about challenge groups and it slowed me down. So I tell my coaches that, don't be afraid. Um, and, you know, glamorize your coaching opportunity. You were given something that's really great. So make that known. Um, one of the last things I want you to know is that you need to stop chasing and keep replacing. Stop chasing your coaches. Just stop. It's exhausting. It's not worth your time. When you build a team, you need to realize that some of them aren't going to make it. Okay. And that's hard to do because every time you sign a coach, you think they're your next rock star, but some of them aren't. Okay. Um, you cannot want it for them more than they do. So if that's the case, if you find you're chasing those coaches, let them go, let them go, let them go. Hire new ones, okay? Just hire new ones. And that's how this business works. You just keep replacing, um, and sometimes they'll come back around, but you can't chase them. If anything, you'll scare them away. Um, I have two books that I recommend. Um, well, three. The Slight Edge, but all of you know about that book because you should have read it by now. If you haven't, you're missing out, and that needs to be step one. Um, another book that I really love is by Darren Hardy, and he's the author of The Compound Effect, which some of you may have read. This is called The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster, and it came out um, just this past March. It's one of my absolute favorite books. It's an easy read. Um, a lot of his pages have big quotes on them, so it's, it's a fast one really powerful for your business. And the other one, um, my coach Cheryl told me about it and it's called You Are Made for a God-Sized Dream. It's by Holly Girth and it is hands down the best book I've ever read. It made me realize that I'm a beach body coach, not because I picked it. I'm a beach body coach because it was put in my heart and I was given the talent and the skills to do it. And it's part of my God sized dream that I'm fulfilling. So I, you know, I, this was actually one of the first like Christian books that I had read. Most of the, my other books are just leadership or business, but this rocks. So I definitely suggest that you get it. Um, I'm finished talking. I told you I was a talker. So, um, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them now. I'm going to go ahead and stop my screen share. Anybody? Okay. Well, that was pretty awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> I love your attitude. <laughs> But like, seriously, you, there is no need to chase after people. As long as you can be real and be you, um, you're going to gain people who are like you and who want it bad enough mm -hmm. like you do. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's funny you say that because most of my coaches want it like I want it. Like I have some that just want it as a hobby, but I, a lot of my coaches didn't start that way and I didn't either, but a lot of my coaches want to leave their job. It's cool. 
anyways, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on. All right. Does anyone have any questions? I know this probably hit home for a lot of people in many different ways. And I like it because I can think of a couple coaches who I've, I've had some conversations with that are struggling in certain areas. And I mean, she had great points all the way around. Um, you know, not chasing after people and just being real, being you and not letting excuses get in the way because that's a huge thing. You know, we think we're too busy to do this. You know, this isn't made for me. No, it is made for you. You are put here for a reason. You can, you can take it or you can leave it. And if you're going to leave it, someone else is going to take your dream away from you. And you don't want someone to take your dream away from you because then you're just going to live with regret wishing wishing that you had it, wishing that you put in that time and just made those small sacrifices to get to where that person is taking your spot. So don't let that go. Just work as hard as you can and do what you are meant to do. I am so excited to get that book, by the way. I'm really excited. I've never heard of it. Can't wait. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to let you go do your thing because I know you guys have kiddos and husbands and a bed. <laughs> um, I, just, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say um, really great call. One of the best that I have listened to and a lot of the stuff did hit home and I was taking notes the whole time. And Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sure. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting on. Sarah, thank you, thank you. That was amazing. Loved sure. it. All right. All right, guys. Bye.